hello welcome back again to online training for the NX so now I would like to give a little bit training so this is a basic training for the NX progressive die NX progressive die is a special model inside the NX and it's very useful to create a progressive die system if you have any production that if you choose the progressive die it will create uh, efficiency so let's get started for example I want to open this NX as you can see in here we have a progressive die wizard so if I click here this one so it's a special model as the NX and it can be opened after you make an installation for the progressive die wizard itself it have very very uh, complete library which in here and here okay maybe you can see in here it has a uh, several name like Misumi is so many standard part from Misumi Sankyo Mula Nams everything so let me continue the slideshow Okay, so I think I will go straight. Okay, before started the NX progressive die, I would like to say that uh, you must have a Microsoft Excel in order to activate important tools and edit material in NX progressive die model because uh, the NX it seems like they uh, take advantage from Microsoft Excel to read all the the material properties the database of the tools itself and all of it so if you not install the Microsoft Excel the tools inside this NX Progressive Die some of it a very very important function will not operate properly so let me get started at least we have a three sheet metal part in here three kind of sample uh, they are classified to free form a hybrid and the straight folding uh, the free form is like this, it's almost like a forming hybrid is a combination between a forming and bending and straight folding is just a folding uh, it not uh, involve any like uh, forming or stamping process in here is a part of the hybrid one of the forming and the other is like uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's not forming. It's here is a bending, and in here is a, is a forming. Okay, there are so many tools for the NX progressive die. Maybe for the beginning, I would like to give you a little bit a uh, a demo. So the basic uh, the basic skill that you must have is to make this finished part into a blank part by using the sequence like this so this is the part this is the finished part here and here is the same so it's just only the part in here finish and you try to develop into blank so it's like a reverse a process so and an X progressive die is very useful if you if you want to use the the model you must mastering first this kind of a uh, process because later on I want to give you a full training about the NX progressive die and for example this one this is the product this is the final shape and it reverse into the blank this is also the same okay and maybe I will go straight into the case now this is the part that I would like to make the NX progressive die from the beginning to end and the first thing I must do I have to create from this original part I get the copy as a final product and then I go 
reverse into the blank sheet metal if I can create this then I can create what is called a strip layout strip layout actually like this one now this one strip layout this strip layout is we uh, it will be used to develop the dice like this one and then to in to insert or like like uh, the piercing insert the die cavity insert the, the forming punch like this one okay and also uh, the bending tool like this this and this one and also at the final stage you can get for example like this one let me go straight to the final one now this one the motion simulation so when I click full screen it's a video like this one okay so this is a NX progressive die this when the when the upper uh, die I show full full feature so this is the final product because you can see in here it will go outside it's, a, it's, it's the final product so when I return here now you see in here right okay let's continue for this part now this let me st get started so actually we want to make this okay mm the flow of the process is we unbend here unbend here unbend this one later we unbend here and then we make it flat okay in NX here okay the first step is to make this one define intermediate stage for example how much this one one how many I mean how many uh, one two three four five five we have five so it means number of intermediate stage is five start station at one the pitch is the distance between between parts the direction in x direction is not in y okay as you can see in here it's overlapping right it's overlapping it's okay you can add it. maybe 100 let me see the distance is too far Maybe I go to 80. Okay, quite nice. Okay, the first step, because this is a, you can see this is just only import part. I don't know uh, where this uh, 3D CAD model was built. I mean, is it built from inside the NX or the user using the other software, a CAD software? but it's not a problem as long as it have a consistent uh, thickness it can be uh, changed into a sheet metal okay I will go this one so after I use this tool I will go to this tool it's a direct unfolding I will go into this convert to sheet metal okay select base face this one and then I click apply okay it will recognize all the band you see it will recognize all bending and you see in here also we have a defined neutral factor for example the material maybe SPCS it's gonna be slightly uh, different but it's quite safe so this is also uh, if you don't want to change material database or you can load it you can using this ok 
okay now if you see in here the first uh, I mean at the beginning is just only one one part right just only one part this one after I using this one uh, the software create some kind of like a an assembly okay now after this we got this one this metal we already did and then after that we go to band operation okay select intermediate stage this is the part this is the finish so it means that we go to here we click this one it become active okay we click unbend yeah, let's see if I click cancel then I'll repeat again this one this one now if I click near here it will be as a stationary uh, plane will be in here but if I click near here the stationary plane will be this one let me show you you see right okay if I click uh, if you click me here ah as you can see right okay now this tool before I continue to the other I want to show you a little bit this tool is also have like a pre band pre band actually if you want to make this uh, not a direct 90 degree so you can make a 45 degree first and then I forget after that you go to the 90 degree then you can make some kind of a division in here you can divide select band for example you can enter angle 45 30 15 it's okay number of band if two you see this one and then you unband then you can get this one ah, like this one <coughs> okay like this one Okay, maybe I don't want to unbend. Oh, it's okay, no problem. Um, okay, if I create three, the angle one forty-five, the other one thirteen. So maybe I will make the angle one thirteen, angle two also thirteen. I mean thirty, not thirteen. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, I select intermediate stage. This one, select band. It will create two. Okay, then I will go unbend. You see, apply. Okay, and then go unbend again, like this one. And if I make a change in here, in here also will be change. You see, if I go the other stage, this over the unbend, and then I go this one. You see, ah. If I go this is intermediate change in here, it's like at the band. Then I got like this one. If I click OK, and I get this one. Okay, the other stage, the final stage, select band. I got the flat one. You see? In here, we bend this one and this stage we bend a little bit to the degrees we bend to 60 degrees we bend to 90 degrees so it's very very useful for you to mastering it first before you enter the all these tools the NX progressive die after you mastering this then you are ready to go into this one this is the unity loss project for NX progressive die okay I will finish this first Okay. Now maybe I'm gonna make a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna make also the symmetry. 
event lagi tempat di stage like band only two and the 45 degrees I click this one apply okay and I go to unband now this okay and it's because it's already unband I want to make like reband in here now you see right when is when I bend this yeah it it also uh, follow so I think I need to split it first need to split become a tree to the 30 okay apply separate now and then okay no problem Second, select it with the stage and bend this to nice and in here flatten it and the final one is in here. Oh, no, oh, oh okay, see symmetric. I'm sorry. Okay, and by this one. Okay, the final. I create and bend in here. Okay. You see now. Okay, very nice. So. Every, when I uh, create this one, it means that uh, the NX Progressive they also create parts inside the folder when I keep this file. So this is each file. When I click save, it save all of it. It save one, two, three, four, five, five files, include this one and one assembly file. <coughs> okay, press continue. Select the third one. This is the third one. Okay, select pen. Okay. Click apply. Oh, okay. I need one thing I need to 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 tell you that uh, you cannot uh, click click and click click for the unbend and in one time the software will unable to do that so you must do one by one so after what you click, you click apply click other button click apply something like that okay okay now I think it's already done everything okay let's move back to the assembly now can you can see in here this is the product this is the final one okay this is the stage so actually we have a one two three four stage four stage this is the blank okay the first is bending this one this one the second and the second day a bending this one and this one okay ah I think I I missed one it should be unbending here It's very important to check uh, to check all the feature. Okay, that the beginning. Let it begin again. Okay, this is blank. You bend this one. The second you bend this. The third you bend this. Okay. While bend this, you also bend this and this one, and then later on you bend this to 90 degrees here, also here, and you bend this. Then you trim, you get the final product. 
so this is the basic uh, skill that you must mastering first before going to an explosive die actually I have a lot of case that maybe I can show you later but this is just only s but the most important thing you have to mastering it okay that's it uh, maybe I'll go next to the other, other tutorial we can see into on my video thank you